Avast has just released a brand new stable version. As you can see from here, this is what's new, and this is what's been fixed. Here are the details about the installer. Let's get started and do a custom install. As always, I suggest that you use the Customize. From here, you get to see what's going to be installed, and you can make your own decision of anything you'd like not to install. I'm not a gamer. I don't use the cleanup component, nor do I use the safe price browser extension. I do want everything else to be installed. As this little notification states, the antivirus is being installed. Do not turn off your computer. In the interest of time, I've sped up the installation portion. Once the installation has happened, Avast will notify you that the system needs to be restarted in order for the installation to be complete. Once you've finished that process, let's take a look at Avast and what's new in this latest version. Under the menu, an easy way to get to your licenses. From here, you can also manage your account. And you can log out. I've asked this letting me know that I haven't yet restarted the system since this new version was installed. Under the menu is also an easy way to get to your settings. I always save my settings once I've adjusted them so that when a new version is installed, I can restore those settings. The last time I backed up the settings was on March 26th. I will import that and say continue. And now if I go back to my settings, you'll notice one of the things that is now disabled is the Avast email signature, not something I use. Also, all the other settings have now been restored to my settings rather than the default settings. And that's the current version that's now installed on the system. So much for what's new. Stay safe, be free. I hope this helps.